Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials by Dev Dojo. And in this video, we are going to see how to work first with the find by name that we created inside our anime repository, and second, how to work with uh, query params. So we do have here on the anime repository find by name, but we didn't use at all. So what we are going to do, we are going inside our service and we are going to create a new method here under list all. And again, this will still return a list of enemy. And then we are going to give the name find by name. And here we are going to ask for a name. And then we are going to return enemy repository dot find by name, sending this uh, name there. So now that we have this um, method, we are going into our anime controller. And here it's where the problem starts. First, we do have two mappings. So we do have a couple ways to do it. So I'm going to copy this entire method for the get ID. And if you try to do this, just uh, changing by name, find by name, for example, and you change here by name, the application will fail. Why? Let's see. Let's just try to start the application. Let's see if we are going to get any errors with my SQL because now we are going to yeah. So we are getting this error with uh, hybrid.dialect, but if you scroll up the error it's a bit different. Uh, now that we are actually actively using, I don't know why we only got this exception now. What we can do to avoid this public key retrieval, it's uh, just remove this use SSL false. So I think by doing this, the database will not give that exception, but we are still going to get another exception. So we do have the Hibernate dialect here. Is the the same that we were expecting to add. Uh, okay, so it started. Why? Let's check here. So we do have a find by ID. Well, actually, this should fail because now we have two and uh, what's going to be executed it's a really good question so let's see what's going to happen if we do it let's duplicate this get okay so i thought that would fail but uh, looks like it didn't fail but uh, you can see the exception here 500 because we have ambiguous handler method so it doesn't know which one should be executed. I was expecting this to be caught at the moment we were starting the application, but it looks like it doesn't work that way. So in this case, we have a couple options. First, we could uh, change here and uh, add, for example, find by name, and that would uh, work perfectly. Why? If you change here to string name, and then you change here anime service find by name that would work return a list of anime so why would this work because we do have now a different url so i'm going to copy this find by name i'm going to add before this one and uh, let me see what enemies i have here okay I do have Berserk, I'm going to, going to copy and I'm adding here and as you can see we have the result even if I add this lowercase it also works. So the problem this is not really intuitive and uh, you are not going to see that everywhere because what people actually do it's uh, not using path variable but query params. So you would still need uh, something like this because otherwise the endpoints would be uh, ambiguous. And uh, by only having this slash find, we can change here to request params. So I don't know if you saw, but uh, there are some URLs where you can send params. For example, just adding question mark and then name berserk. So by having this query params, you get through this request param and you have to tell the value that you are expecting. Now I'm not sure if the, it's the value or the name. I think it's the value. 
Let me try with the value. If it doesn't work, we change to the name, but I think it's value. So now I'm telling, and this is uh, by default true. We don't have to set this. I'm telling here that we are expecting this request param. Uh, and by changing here, I don't need to restart the application. Now I can find the by name, it didn't work. So maybe 200 okay, because the name is wrong. There you go. So by using this, we do have now the find and we could define several types of attributes. And then we could add several types of attributes here and we can define which ones would be um, required or not. So that's how you could set quarter params for your queries. So that's the difference, uh, path variable and uh, request param. So path variable, you add directly at the URI as a slash and then the value. And then request param is going to get the query params from the URL that you have uh, here. And if you want to chain, you just use at and then the second attribute and the second value and so on. As you can see here, the params are being added uh, to Postman. So let's save here. So this is how you search by using request params. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.